Some of the LEGO sets and minifigures are so rare, expensive or just flat out weird that you're never going to play with them, let alone collect them. Some really rare LEGO sets, in fact, sell for more than 500% of their original retail price of just a decade ago. They're basically plastic gold. What are the rarest LEGO sets and minifigures ever made? Given the modest beginnings of LEGO, which was created in 1932 by a single toy maker named Kirk Christiansen, we doubt anyone could have predicted how valuable these toys would eventually become. The rarest LEGO sets and minifigures earned their ranking due to minimal availability and a thriving collector's market that always looks out for those one-of-a-kind pieces. So that you can see for yourself how rare some of these sets actually are, we thought we'd compile a list of the most rare LEGO sets and minifigures available. 1999 Red Sox Giveaway The Red Sox emblem was printed on the front of this special minifig's red baseball cap, while the LEGO logo was printed on the reverse. In the summer of 1999, it was distributed to children attending a Boston Red Sox game. Although it is uncertain how many were made for the promotion and how many still exist now, when they turn up on eBay, ardent Beantown baseball fans frequently purchase them. A 1x2 Duplo brick with the Red Sox and LEGO logos printed on each side was a similar Red Sox promotion from the same year. If it's in good condition, nowadays this small little block will sell for $100. 2011 San Diego Comic Con Green Lantern and Batman Lucky Comic Con attendees in 2011 had a chance to win the first Green Lantern minifig from DC Comics. The figurine was given to the recipient on a card that was designed to resemble an issue of the made-up San Diego Brick newspaper, complete with the headline, Superheroes Unite. Having that card is necessary if you want to sell your Green Lantern minifigure on eBay right now for top price. Batman minifigs were also distributed at the same convention on a similar newspaper display. Even though it wasn't the first time the Dark Knight appeared in LEGO form, this figure has been included and modified to include a more accurate print of his costume. Gongan Sub the $50 selling price of the 7,161 Gungan sub, which was first available in 1999, has since then grown by 1,713% or nearly $856.9. Between Episode 1, The Phantom Menace and Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, this early LEGO Star Wars set was published. There are three minifigures in it, Jar Jar Binks, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Qui-Gon Jinn, and they're all of the vintage yellow variety. This makes these figures themselves collectible objects. When the LEGO set 9499 Gungan sub was published in 2012, this set was updated. The new model still has the same philosophy and fundamental design as the original, but it is sleeker and less blocky. Still, the original was definitely a fun and interesting LEGO build that scratched the itch of those that loved this unique submersible vehicle. Market Street the 10190 Market Street LEGO kit is no exception to the rule that streets and everyday scenes are great for building and expanding city or location constructions. People have the chance to spruce up their collections with a touch of cool blue thanks to this blue brick building, which is more of a vertical construction. The three different minifigures that are also part of the set can also be used to play with a few different sceneries that are featured in each of the building's floors, each of which is easily detached. Because it didn't have a widespread release when it first came out in 2007, only acquiring popularity after it was retired, this set has a higher price. Solid Gold 14K C3PO You probably got this one correct if you are a fan of both Star Wars and LEGO. The Solid Gold 14K C3PO LEGO minifigure, which costs over $300,000, is the priciest one. Only 5 of these unique minifigures which were released in 2007 to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the Star Wars film series were ever produced. These valuable metal C-3PO minifigures weren't for sale either, unlike other rare collectibles like Pokemon cards, and they were instead given away as contest prizes at the beginning of 2008. So consider yourself lucky if you can get your hands on one of these sought-after items. However, you would have a higher chance of finding an actual gold nugget digging in your backyard than finding this minifigure for sale on the secondary market. Solid Gold 14K Baba Fett You would want to get your hands on the 2010 San Diego Comic Con Baba Fett LEGO minifigure collection if you are a diehard fan of Baba Fett. Three different versions of Baba Fett are included in this set, including the highly sought-after Solid Gold 14K figurine, which commands a price of $19,800. It may take years and a lot of money to finally locate one of these figures because they are only too known to exist. The Legoland Train Only 350 of the 400014 Legoland Train sets were ever produced, 
and they were distributed at random to attendees of the 2014 LEGO Fan Weekend Scarebake. This lack of supplies automatically raised costs. This cute little LEGO kit is incredibly detailed and comes with seven minifigures. It even has a platform where the train can get off. A neat extra is the Legoland logo on the platform. The Legoland train set is quite playable and since it was given away for free at a fan event, these sets ended up in the hands of people who would really enjoy them. Ninjago Movie Wooden View Movie Prop Over the past few decades, the LEGO franchise has grown in popularity, expanding into video games and movies. In 2017, a feature film adaption of Ninjago, one of its most well-known series, was released. CGI and stop-motion animation was blended into the LEGO Ninjago movie to bring LEGO minifigures to life. The most expensive and scariest LEGO minifigure in existence is a carefully carved wooden boo, which is valued at more than $104,500. Eiffel Tower It was only natural for LEGO to create the 10181 Eiffel Tower, because it is one of the most famous and iconic landmarks in the world. Being over 2 feet tall, it is a fairly tall set, and it is clear that the structure's strength and indestructibility have been achieved by the use of a large number of pieces. The designs of older sets before they smoothed them out and made them appear less blocky and more like what they're supposed to look like may be recognized in the Eiffel Tower LEGO set. On the other hand, that is also part of its charm, so we can see why people would have brought this back then. Finding yourself one today might be a trickier venture, though. Ultimate Collector Series Imperial Star Destroyer Given that it's one of the bigger LEGO sets on this list, especially among Star Wars aficionados, it is one of the most coveted and well-loved kits available. It's odd that this has developed into a valuable collector's item, though. It's an excellent set without a doubt, however, it's not the most durable or sturdy LEGO set available. It bridges the gap between the more traditional, blocky-looking sets and the contemporary, premium-looking ones, so it is unquestionably of its time. The 75252 Ultimate Collector Series Imperial Star Destroyer is the set that precedes that one. However, the newest version's construction includes 1688 more components. These extra parts were used to lengthen the kit a little bit, strengthen the interior framework, and address problems in the original 10030 Ultimate Collector Series Imperial Star Destroyer. Grand Carousel There is a lot to see and to do in the sizable and elaborate LEGO set 10196 Grand Carousel. The assembly of this 3263 piece carnival staple, which has a variety of animals and vehicles, is tedious and time-consuming, yet yields magnificent results. The Grand Carousel provides many different ways to play thanks to its nine exclusive minifigures. The right seats can accommodate every minifigure, but the fact that the entire set is mechanical and has a motor that can turn the carousel like a genuine one is the most entertaining and engaging aspect of it. But because it was a LEGO exclusive kit, it was much more challenging to track down. Since it was terminated in 2010 after just 11 months, it has become increasingly rare. LECA Automobile The LIT2005 LECA Automobile is going to be a set you'll adore if you appreciate automobiles. This sleek red sports vehicle that LEGO attempted to build turned out to be okay. We're confident that if the automobile had been launched today, LEGO would have covered up those unattractive studs with smoother pieces and given it a far more svelte and aerodynamic appearance. However, not much is known about this LEGO set in general. We have no idea where you purchased it, how much it cost, or even how many pieces it is made up of. However, we do know how much individuals are prepared to spend on this set. It is a classic at the very least. Which one out of these would you want to own? Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe to our channel to be part of our Twice Story.